Hey, what's up, fellas? How you doing? Man, it's here. Hey, what's going on, everyone? How we doing? Matt Antonelli here. So uh, about a week or two ago, I did a video on Christian Yelich, and he was talking about a drill that uh, Barry Bonds had him do when uh, he was the hitting coach of the Marlins. And in the drill, he had him swing and drive the ball down into the plate, really swing down on the ball, hit it down on the plate, and then they slowly brought the ball up until he was driving the ball out of the park, and Christian Yellow said that that was you know, the, the best drill that he had done, or at least a drill that really changed his career. And it started an interesting debate, and this is not a new debate. Uh, it's been a debate for a while on swinging down versus swinging up, and what do players think, and what should players do, and what should we coach our young players to do. And so uh, I've gotten a lot of questions from that video. And so today I have two videos here of Mike Trout, okay? And so on the left, this was an interview done by uh, ESPN. We have A-Rod over here. Uh, I'm going to put in the description down below the, um, I'll put a link to the full video if you want to watch it. Um, and then over here we have Mike Trout in a game. All right. And so I'm going to play the video here on the left real quick about what Mike Trout says that his swing path is. And then we're going to really delve into this um, because, again, this is this is a topic that, everybody talks about right and when you think about swings the biggest thing for me is bat path right what is your bat doing uh, one of the reasons why elite hitters are elite one of the reasons is because they have a consistent bat path that is what I call behind the ball but basically hitting the ball with a barrel that's going slightly up through the ball all right and that's not my opinion that is just that's facts if you you know you can look up the data of um, of bat path. So we know what the bat path is actually supposed to do, but how do we get the bat to do that? Most major league players will tell you to swing down. Um, and that's kind of been a prevailing thought for a long time. If you go to any game, you're going to hear parents and coaches and grandparents and just spectators always saying swing down, swing down, swing down. But there's also, you know, they're considered the new school of coaching where coaches will talk about, no, don't swing down swing up because swinging up is what actually happens um, when you watch major league hitters what are they actually doing and so I want to get into this talk um, because people were saying in my last video hey show some video show some players and so let's let's look at Mike Trout here my, where my hands are I go straight down to the ball and I'm just straight down I mean, slow motion again yeah for the kids at home too so I'm up here tall and the ball is down low so, coming down to it oh. Okay, so this is where the discussion always gets interesting, okay? So you listen to Mike Trout, and he says, from where my hands are, I just go straight down to the ball, and I'm just straight down. And so he makes this move right here, right? And he shows this move. Okay, now, this is obviously not the move that he makes, right? And we've talked a lot before about feel versus real and what does the player feel like he's doing and it's not always what he's really doing right feel and real are never the same and so that is part of it but there's there's more than just saying well he feels like he's like he's doing that right um, let's look at what he's actually doing and I wanna I really wanna try to get in depth on this okay so here's Trout and this is his actual swing right here now you're gonna see the first move right and let's let's watch let's watch the knob of the bat. All right, let's focus on the knob of the bat. For me, the knob is going to control this barrel. And so, what the knob does, the barrel will do. So, for instance, if the knob were to do what is happening here, if the knob were to go straight down to the ball, well, then the barrel is going to go straight down. Right, the barrel's always going to follow the knob. And so, if the knob goes down, the barrel's going to go down. If the knob goes up. The barrel is going to go up, okay? So keep that in mind. So let's just kind of look at the knob of the bat right here. So his first move, there's no debating this, right? Let me put the dot right here again. There is no debating this, that that knob is going down, right? Okay. So it's going down. Let's just see if I can kind of trace it out here as we continue to go down, right? So now here, we've continued to go down, correct? So he's swinging down. And he clearly feels this. He feels this part of the swing 
more than any other part because he says in most major leaguers say you got to swing down right okay now what are we noticing now now so the knob so here we go so the knob went down right and the barrel went down but now something interesting is happening the knob is no longer going down now the knob is turning up right so it's down now the knob you can see it right here right so it, it's pretty steep right here but now all of a sudden the knob is starting to turn and now the knob is going up so this is where the the debate comes in okay because and actually before I say that now watch this barrel right there's no debating this barrel is up into this ball so what do we have we have a knob going down we have a knob going up we have a barrel going down we have a barrel going up all right so now a player asks coach what are my hands supposed to do what's my knob supposed to do what's my barrel supposed to do right well Mike Trout if you ask Mike Trout he's gonna say cuz he just said it I'm just straight down to the ball okay so that's what he feels and I talked about this a lot a lot of hitters a lot of hitters will say swing down on the ball I heard that all the time just drop the bat head on the ball just swing down on the ball right and so you hear a lot of players saying that. now why are they saying that well one because they they might feel that right and, and my guess is if a lot of players say it they probably feel it um, why else well swinging down has always kind of been especially if you look back and this is why people that coached longer ago than than recently right so let's go back 10 or even 20 or 30 or 40 years ago most people talked about swinging down I would say 90 plus percent would say swing down right now Ted Williams he was kind of back in the day talking about how you've got to swing up on the ball right he talked about that a lot but I, again I would say the prevailing thought was swing down so maybe major league players they've heard that for so long swing down swing down swing down swing down that, that that's just programmed in their mind and even though their barrel turns up they still say no I'm swinging down and so that's what they they say right so regardless this thought of swinging down right this beginning part is what a lot of players talk about but here's my here's here's my thought so the player asked again how do I what do I do what's my knob or hands or barrel supposed to do so if I say swing down to a player right a lot of people will say yeah that's that's what happens swing down right but there's gonna be a crowd of people that say no it's not swing down it's actually swing up is that person right is it actually swing up well yeah I guess technically it is right here right but what about here now you tell somebody to swing up well yeah I mean he's swinging up right here but he wasn't right here so people that always teach swing down get upset about that they say no you don't swing up you swing down and again a lot of players will probably say that you swing down right but what there is both in the swing right there's a down portion where the knob starts to go down there's an up portion where the knob starts to turn up there's a down portion for the barrel where the barrel starts to go back and down there's an up portion of the barrel where the barrel comes up through the ball so everybody's screaming and yelling at each other and there's both going on now to get even deeper into this I work with a lot of players okay and so here's here's my thought is that um, I need to figure out one what the players doing okay so what is the player doing what's his what's his path and again I always go through go to what is the bat doing through the hitting zone so this area right here this area where you can make contact with the ball what is the barrel doing let's start there what's the barrel doing is it behind the ball and turning up 
if it's turning up behind the ball and getting on plane with the pitch, which again, data will show us that's what the best hitters do, okay? So if, if that's happening, then it doesn't matter. In my opinion, if the hitter's thinking swing down to get to that point, or if they're swing, thinking swing up, or if they're thinking swing level, whatever they're thinking, if they're getting the barrel to do that, then they can think that. There's nothing wrong with them thinking up or down or level because whatever they're thinking is helping them get this result, okay? Now, let's say we look at the path and the path is like this. And the path is down, but it continues to go down. And it goes down through the ball. Now, you can watch major league hitters, elite hitters. You're not going to see that. You're not going to see successful hitters with a path that's consistently down to the ball and then through the ball. Okay, so now I take that player and I say, all right, what's our thought process here? What are we thinking? Well, coach, I think the swing down to the ball. All right, so you're thinking the swing down, uh, but but your barrel's never turning up. It's going down. Let me show you some major league hitters here. Let me show you Mike Trout. All right, so then we go through Mike Trout. We talk about what he's doing. Okay, see how the barrel starts down, turns up. Okay, what you're doing is you're going, your, your barrel's going down, but it's never turning up. All right, and so we need to fix that. And so we start to do different things. We do different drills. Now, maybe, maybe we try with the hitter and say, you know what? Don't think so down on the ball. Why don't you think, turn the barrel up into this ball. Think up through the ball. And all of a sudden, they go, maybe they don't, but all of a sudden, they start to get their barrel to turn and then slightly start to get up through the ball. All right, beautiful. So I might not tell that hitter, swing down on this ball. I probably won't tell that hitter because he was thinking swing down. And that, that wasn't, he wasn't able to turn his barrel into the ball. All right, so we say swing up. So for that hitter, if you tell him to swing up, for me, that's, good, that's fine, right? If we get the result we want. Okay, now we got another hitter. This hitter loses his barrel way back here, and then he's way too up through the ball, all right? And so just like swinging down to it and through it is, too, is not good, swinging too far up is not good, okay? And so that hitter... I say, what do you think? Well, I think swing up on the ball, coach. Okay, great. Well, let me show you what's going on right now. Explain the bat path. Okay, let's try to think, stay above the ball more. Let's try to think, swing down on the ball more. All right, let's see what happens. Now, all of a sudden, that hitter starts to flatten out his path a little bit more, starts to get behind the ball, and he's swinging slightly up through the zone. Beautiful. Hey, you got to think, sw swing down on this ball, stay on top of the ball, okay? So my point is, is that there is both a down portion, and nobody can say there's not. Like, that's down, okay? There is an up portion, all right? So I'm not going to yell at somebody that says, you got to swing down on the ball. And I'm not going to yell at somebody that says, you got to swing up on the ball. Because, again, there's a down and there's an up. Now, where I think you can debate, if somebody says, you got to swing down through the ball, down through, cause, because there's still a lot of people that say, you got to swing down through the ball, you've got to impact the ball with a downward barrel, you got to create backspin and all that stuff. Like, for me, that that is proven that that doesn't happen. Hitters don't hit down on the ball, down through the ball to create backspin. Right? And you don't have to listen to me. You can go online on Google and type it in and you can start to figure out what a bat path is doing through the zone, okay? So that would be something that I would say, okay, I don't agree with that and this is the reason, this is the reason why. And same thing with swinging up. If a, if a coach is like, no, you've got to swing, you know, you've got to be like this through, through the hitting area. And I see some kids doing that. For me, that's not right either, right? So we can talk about that. But the whole swing down, swing up thing, there's a lot of nuance that, that is there and so I think there's more than just yelling at somebody when someone hears somebody say swing up and they go no you don't know what you're talking about it's swing down or vice versa there's a there's a lot more detail than that the last thing I will say Mike Trout and a lot of other major leaguers that that think this and they may actually think that they do this and again that's okay as long as this feeling and this thought produces this. So where, the, where he would be in trouble, whoops, where he would be in trouble is if this thought of 
down, right, this thing, this part of the string right here that he really feels, if this never did that, if this continued to do this and actually did that in the game, he'd be, he'd be in trouble, right? And so down is fine and down will probably keep you shorter, tighter, more compact. But again, you've got to get to this point where you start to turn the barrel up and you start to get palm up, palm down and the knob starts to turn up, right? And there's, there's other things that go into it as well, but this has got to happen. And if this happens, well then absolutely you can swing down. Where sometimes, you know, sometimes where I get nervous when you, when players show this is that I've seen a lot of kids. So like when this video first comes out, any of these videos, you know, when Mike Trout or Christian Yelich or any of these great players demonstrate this stuff, you know, I work with a ton of kids. And so those kids, a lot of times will see this and they'll say, you know, they'll come in and they'll say, hey coach, did you see the Mike Trout video? And I'll say, yeah, I saw the video. And they said, did you see how he swings down or he does this or does that or whatever? And I say, yeah. And so some kids will then see this and they'll try to do this and they'll swing down like this and they'll just keep going down through the ball and then they're not getting, they can't hit like that, obviously, right? And so that's the only part sometimes, not, I don't even want to say so much I get nervous, but then that's where I have to say, okay, listen, and then I'll talk about a lot of the things that we just talked about in this video, right? And so um, it's important. You can feel this and you can do this. You can do this. And again, the move he showed, this move right here isn't actually, this move never happens, but him feeling this is, it's this, right? And obviously, like, he's not taking a real swing here. He's just standing here. And so, um, you know, it's going gonna, it's gonna to look a little bit different with the upper body. But regardless, when he does this or thinks to do this in a game and it does this, but then it turns up into the ball, then that's great. But if it doesn't turn up into the ball, then we have issues. So that's the only thing I'll warn players sometimes about. And I'll say, you know, I'll explain. That's his feel. He feels down to the ball. Why does he feel down to the ball? Because of this move right here. Because the knob actually does start down. The barrel starts back and down like this. But it's really important that we do some of these other parts of the swing. Again, all of our videos. If you haven't seen our videos, just go check out our other videos. We talk about the other parts of the swing. You have to make sure that those are... Um, present in the swing as well because that'll help you turn your barrel behind the ball and get up through the ball and so that is why you know he's able to hit like he does and then we go from there so hopefully that makes sense let me know in the comment section below this topic always brings out i'll say passionate people <laughs> i was going to say something else, but i'll say passionate people and so um, i'm sure there'll be some passionate people in the comments because some people, if, if you've always said swing down and someone says differently, a lot of people and coaches think they're being attacked. Um, and and the, same with, the same with coaches that say swing up. So um, I'm not trying to uh, attack anyone. I'm actually kind of taking both sides here and explaining why you can, you could possibly say swing down and swing up um, as far as what is, you know, what's the knob in the barrel going to do? Because it technically is going to do a little bit of both throughout the swing. So, um let me know what you think about this. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Hit the notification bell. Give it a thumbs up. Thank you to our patrons on Patreon for supporting the channel. We really, really appreciate that. And uh, that's all we got. We'll talk to you later.